What's up guys? Welcome back to another video of SSL by 30. We I hate to break it to you, but we have lost a lot of 1v1 games. We were one game away from champ 3 about a week ago, and now we are back to champ 1. We lost I think 11 out of our last 13. So I'm going to play three 1v1 games for this video just for you guys and uh, I'm going to talk through my thoughts and what I'm really practicing here though is just keeping myself level headed right not losing my cool obviously I'm going to try to win and tell you guys my thoughts but like one of the biggest problems I have in this game is losing my willpower to to grind and to play because I get too frustrated with it and uh, if I can overcome that aspect I think we'll do a lot better so. all right we're jumping into game number one we got swords let's take our chat off a little bit of a slow kickoff so we'll delay it he's going for mid boost that's fine I'm gonna go for a bump. I was gonna say, he wants that boost, might as well try to take a shot on that. Take this boost from him as well. Keep pressuring him. Really bad turn there, so we're not gonna be able to get a goal off the demo. But he is boost starved. I'm just toying with him, honestly. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. All that, and uh, and he gets a go off of that. That's just amazing. All right, enough trolling. He's gonna get another goal here. I didn't react quick enough off that kickoff. I need a lock in. I'm kind of not really in it. All right, we're just gonna do a, another delayed kickoff here. Let him let him get that boost just because I know we can't beat him to it. Don't want to use my boost right now though. We might get a nice bounce inwards, and we do. Go for a wave dash kickoff. It's fine. We'll just take mid boost. Make the challenge. He's gonna pop it high. We probably could have just taken the ball from him there. This should be a goal. He's getting a little antsy, which is good for us. We just need to make sure that we play the challenges correctly. Just do a regular old kickoff here. Nice. I'm actually gonna not get the mid boost. I'm gonna get this boost. It might have seemed weird, but I knew he was gonna go back for the boost because I postured for the mid. He's gonna go for a bump. I'm just gonna try aerial play. Just feel it out. Nice. He, back to that other play, I postured towards the mid but then left it. And because I postured towards the mid, he, I knew he was most likely not going to want to try to get it. He's going to go, he's going to boom it. That's not in, I don't think, so we're just going to wait here. That's fine. Don't want to give him too much space. Yeah, he drops it off. Nice. Oh, I uh, thought we were closer to the net than we were. That's okay.
I'm just passing it to him. I. I... <sighs> That touch was supposed to be down, so that it would roll up the net, but of course it wasn't, because I didn't touch it right, but I, I should realize when that happens and correct for that. Alright, we're back in it. We got a two minute game on our hands, game to one, <laughs> but it's essentially 0-0. Zero, zero. He can't score that. Ah, that's a goal for him. Should be. Unless he messes it up royally. He almost did. <clears throat> Let's fake this one. We haven't faked any yet. Not really work out for us. double jump aerial a double jump pop over him I knew he was awkward after that save but uh, I was also pretty pushed up field whoa power on that was crazy and I'm just handing him goals man see this is the stuff that just pisses me off like I can't I do it every game Essentially every 1v1 game I lose is because I blasted off their backboard or something like three too many times In this rank Here normally I'd forfeit, but for the video I'm not forfeiting because it is possible to win, and uh, we're staying level-headed. We're staying level-headed. That was a free goal open net. He had no boost. I just left it. I shouldn't be losing in this rank, like in theory. The last, I mean, I I've been champ one since 2021. Like, I've been in this rank for three years, at least in this rank, I should say. And I was champ three a year ago. So, like, there's no reason I should be losing games in this in this rank. Ah, terrible catch. Terrible catch. Well, we go to game two. Unfortunate. I don't know if I just played down to the level of my opponents. Like, could I just be like walking over these guys if I played differently, like a different playstyle or something? Clearly, it's just not like whatever I think my playstyle is, it just doesn't work. Or else I'd be winning more games. Like, I'd take 30% at this point. I think I just can be more grounded. We're gonna do like a try to do a completely grounded playstyle. Guys, this this the other annoying thing about 1v1s is like this guy is as good as most of the champ twos that I was playing last week. He like mechanically, he's literally the same player that I played five times last week. 
not not literally, but he's like the same style of player. But they they're just all of Champ One v One is the same. We're I think here's the rule we're gonna give ourselves. We're not gonna jump above the height of the net unless it's for a defensive play. At least, at least for the next couple games, because uh, something needs to change. Something needs to change. What? That's in my net. That's crazy, dude. That's so lucky. Gonna do a regular kickoff. He does. He tries to do a wave dash kickoff essentially every time. Just gonna shoot it. He likes to go for that boost. You see guys going for corner boosts. It's very tough to get back to the net for defense appropriately if you're so worried about the corner boost. I'm giving him too much space here. That's fine. I'm I'm acknowledging the space I'm giving him because it's a it's a intentional decision I'm making in my mind is like I'm preferring the boost over the the, const the defensive constriction but obviously don't shoot it into your own net if you're going to do that I hit it into my corner there because I knew it would go across the net and he wouldn't be able to have a play. He wants another aerial. Yeah, every time. Curious if this guy's on a main account. I mean, it looks like it with his banner. That's not like a... That's not an out of this world shot for this rank anymore these days. Just handing him the ball. He just sits there and waits for me to touch it and just hand it to him. One of my issues with 1v1 is like, I've been bad at them for so long, but I have no solution. Like, no solution that I've tried has worked long term. So, that's my. That's my frustration and gripe with them right now. It's just that I, I fall into a play style that just doesn't work for my level of skill. Or if I just don't play him enough or something. That's such a bad shot. It's a good 50. I almost messed it up. Alright, we got the lead. 
We did get it. Uh, we did well at denying him boost. So. I knew he was going to challenge there. Is that in? No. He's got that. Yeah. Just going to take it back. He's going to shoot that. Ooh, that's sketchy. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I need a constrict on defense here. He has to he has to commit to everything. So I need to be aware of that and not let him. Alright, we got a dub guys. <laughs> we got a dub. Let's go. Alright, one more game for you guys. <clears throat> And uh, back up against the wall, apparently, at champ one. All right, going into game three, same guy. We know how he plays. So we're just going to do the same thing. And I think if we just pick up the pace a little bit when we're on offense, uh, we'll, we'll catch him out real good. this we're taking too long to get these shots back to net yeah that's what I meant by picking up the pace like he I know we have better recoveries than this guy let him go for it he wants the aerial play so bad He's not dead. Heard him jump, so we... Too heavy of a touch there. Bump him off. That's fine. That's Actually, that's totally fine. Don't want to give him so much space, though. Save our boost. This is bad. I should have turned backwards. Yeah. One mistake, and he capitalizes. I should have turned backwards towards the back wall rather than back into the midfield. next to me. Okay, I gotta remember my rule. We got a goal off of it. No, we didn't get a goal off of it because we suck. What the heck? Dude, I cannot believe how bad, like, typically my shooting is actually the one good thing I have in 1v1. And like the bad stuff is all my defense and out and like overcommits. But holy, it's been trash tonight. This guy fancies himself something special, I bet.
He just likes to move fast. He knows his kickoff is bad, so he's changing up a bunch of his kickoff stuff. such a boring game. If I could shoot, I'd be up. I'd be tied right now. <sighs> so frustrating. So frustrating. Did I touch him? Yeah, I did. I'm gonna lose to this terrible player. I did fake him out, but I wanna I wanna chat him so bad, dude. <laughs> Sorry, I'm doing pretty poorly at, at communicating where I'm going for, but because I'm old and I can't think. <clears throat> Do a regular kickoff. For an aerial play to finish. Now we gotta stay with our rule. And we lost. Ooh, what about? This guy's offense is pretty decent, but. What a terrible shot right at him. He's tempted, man. He's so tempted. I could have won. I'm so bad at shooting. This is so frustrating. I'm handing it away, bro. I'm handing in the game. I missed the boost. He's going to want it, though. Playing save simulator, dude. I'm literally handing in the game because I can't make a shot. All right, here's where I. I <laughs> you guys are seeing this in real time, dude. I am. 99.9% .9 of all of my mental energies are going into not freaking out right now. All right, thanks for watching. This is like the biggest imp impediment to my progression right now. I I, got, I don't want to touch this game for like five days now. Thanks for watching. Peace, y'all.